You know, insurance is something that, especially in California, auto insurance-wise, is something we've had to have since the early 80s. And whether you do it for uh, the, the cheap, trying to be on the cheap, whether you know anything about insurance, the main thing that I have found over the years is that the person that you are dealing with needs to be someone that's not only knowledgeable, but really has your back. And not only that, it should be someone who is also, I think, at least, for what my opinion is worth, and I think it's worth a lot, someone who's really uh, uh, committed to the community, has a lot of community ties. You might have heard of Lucas Insurance, uh, the man, the myth, the legend, here with me in the studio, Linda Lucas. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me. So uh, I want to talk about this. Of course, insurance is what it is. It's it's some people look at it as a necessary evil uh, for others, um, especially in the realm of commercial or something like that. They might have a little bit of a better understanding or, or home insurance. But I have found also, and I think this is really true, Lindell, and in, in, as I mentioned uh, right at the top of the interview, that uh, personality and someone who really kind of can explain things is, is, first of all, I think really important, right? Um, I feel it's the cornerstone, uh, personally, of what an insurance agent needs to be for his clients. Uh, most of the time, clients that I meet are... Um, a little confused about insurance. I, I usually will ask them. I said, "Do you know what these what these coverages mean?" and 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 they usually say no. And and I take my time and I explain it to them, which is great. But the honestly, I, I think it's a little bit of garbage in, garbage out. Only because they don't need to retain it. They don't need to do whatever it is. They only really care about it when something happens, if there's an accident. And then that's the time when we hold our client's hands and we walk them through the process with their claims adjuster. Well, let's talk about Santa Clarita. How long have you been out here? Oh my, I've, um, I've been out here since actually, I opened my, uh, my agency in 1989. Okay. So almost 30 years. So you're, you're post incorporation, but pre mall is what we like. We have like the, 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 anthi, you know, the, the anthropological levels oh of, God, of yeah, uh, Santa yeah. Clarita. Well, that's amazing. And I, I'm pretty sure I've seen your TV commercials around. Oh, you know? yes. I've been all over the television <laughs> as well. And, and, but what, what, first of all, what drew you to Santa Clarita? Uh, honestly, my father had moved here when I was, uh, well, let's see, I think back in 1982-83, uh, he'd moved back in Hasley Canyon. Uh, he's, he's a grading contractor, so, you know, he bunch of land, got a great ho home back there. And um, when he moved out here, I, I, I've spent uh, some of my spring, vac uh, spring vacation, summer breaks here. And I kind of, you know, I, I, the town grew on me. I loved it. And let's talk about your community involvement. So you were talking about Michael Hoffman Foundation and others, but what drew you to some of these nonprofits? You know what? I firmly believe that it's a – if you are successful in a community, that you have a responsibility to help the community, to give back. And, and that's really – what I what I want to do. That's what I've been trying to do. And there's so many different charities that I do um, help with, and I and that's my goal is to give back and give back, give back to the community that's given me so much. Well, that's terrific. So, what other? I know you talked about Michael Hofflin. What else are, are you involved in out here? Um, you know what? Actually, I just did a really wonderful. Uh, um, event or not really necessarily event, but I helped to, um, to generate funds, money for Real Life Church, a wonderful church, by the way, here in Santa Clarita Valley. Um, they've been supportive of me very, very much. I've, I've been blessed to have them, but um, they needed help with a um, a shower trailer <clears throat> for the homeless because a lot of homeless don't have the ability to take a shower, to clean off, uh, do anything like that. <clears throat> so I actually. <clears throat> with um, a variety of different friends like uh, Mike Bjorkman, uh, MB2 Raceway, um, Andy Machado from uh, Seal and Stripe. And I know I'm not saying the name of his business perfectly, but a lot of my friends and a lot of business owners in town also got together to help out and donate and to help uh, with that trailer. So th that's one thing, not to mention um, I, did, I donated uh, lots of money to the Special Olympics. It just happened here just recently. Um, Circle of Hope. Uh, they were in one of my uh, office locations. They were in the same building, and I, I loved working with them to uh, help uh, help them with the uh, cancer survivors. And Circle uh, of Hope is a great organization for those, <coughs> especially people who who need a place to turn. I found oh, talking with them just wonderful people. Absolutely, Ray Tippert. Uh, I think he was a president uh, for a while. I think he stepped down. Well, no, he did step down, but he was a great guy. Really nice guy. Really, really uh, wonderful leader in this community, which is great. Um, and then uh, Dwayne, Dwayne Hart, Dwayne Hart, a mentor 
<clears throat> mentor to me, great guy, I love him to death, one of my clients, and um, I helped with the Veterans Association, uh, one of the um, associations that he worked with. Um, the Red Cross, I worked with the Red Cross, Single Mothers Outreach, um, and oh, I, I just did, I was just the MC at the Miss Santa Clarita Valley pageant. Oh. Very nice, you poor guy. Uh, it, it was horrible. I don't know how I, I don't know how I handled it. Speaking of office, where is your office located? Um, our office had been located in New Hall on Lyons Avenue for you know for over 20 years, but we just had moved to uh, Valencia Boulevard um, in the Bank of America building, right next to the mall. Ah. It's a beautiful office, beautiful space. Uh, I've kind of graduated, I would like to say, to um, a, a very, very nice place here in Santa Clarita Valley. Easily uh, findable and uh, located within uh, easy uh, access from almost anywhere in the valley. So perfect. Exactly. Uh, and, of course, for all your insurance needs and also if you want to uh, have your insurance agent be what appears to be one of the nicest guys in Santa Clarita Valley, Linda Lucas, Lucas Insurance. Uh, do you have a website or a phone number? For oh, we do. Know? It's uh, lucasinsurance.com. That's a tough one. Okay. Exactly. And then the phone number is 255-6363. Outstanding. And of course, also, if there's, uh, uh, if you want to find out more even about helping out with some of these nonprofits that uh, Linda is involved with, you can give him a call for that too. Uh, Linda Lucas, Lucas Insurance, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And thanks for your continued uh, support of the community. Thank you for having me. You bet. It.